Firstly install the stainless steel studs. You can refer to this rectangular corner of the plate to distinguish the top surface and the bottom surface of the plate. When the rectangular corner is located at the upper right corner, the plate surface seen is the top surface. The back is the bottom surface. Pay attention to the assembly surface of the stainless steel studs on the Y-axis slider plate. It should be assembled on the top surface of the Y-axis slider plate. Please tighten the studs to avoid the screw falling off caused by the subsequent Y-axis slider movement. Reconfirm the assembly direction of the studs on the plate. Next, installing non-adjustable pulleys. Use cylindrical spacer column to assembling non-adjustable pulleys. Note that the non-adjustable pulleys should fit on the bottom of the plate and on the side with the rectangular corner. The screw should pass through the plate from the bottom of the plate and then screw on the self-locking nut. Then install the adjustable pulleys. Note that the screw should pass through the plate from the top surface of the plate, which is in the opposite direction to the screw of the non-adjustable pulley. Then put the eccentric nut and the pulley. Fix it with the self-locking nut. When putting in the eccentric nut, one end of the circular step faces the plate, and insert the circular step into the plate. Then pass through the pulley and screw on the self-locking nut. Assemble another adjustable pulley in the same way. When fixing the adjustable pulley, the screws should not be locked too tightly to ensure that the pulley does not shake and swing, which is convenient for subsequent adjustments. When fixing non-adjustable pulleys, please tighten the screws to ensure that the pulleys are stable and firm on the pulleys. Check again to make sure the orientation of each component on the plate is correct. Check whether the operation of each pulley is smooth and stable. Perfect. First assemble the bearing pulley. Fasten the belt to the rear end of the slider first. The side with the rectangular corner on the slider is the front end and the other side is the rear end. The tooth side of the belt should face up when securing the belt. Adjust the reserved length after the belt is fixed. Generally reserve three tooth. Slide the slider into the profile. Pay attention to the direction of the plate. Thread the belt through the Y-axis profile. Check the belt in the Y-axis profile to avoid spiraling or knotting. Penetrating bearing pulley. Adjust the position of the belt. Slide the slider forward half of the plate so that the belt can be inserted into the hole at the front end of the slider. Installing nylon fixing piece. Do not press the fixing piece tightly at this time, but please also be careful not to make the belt come out of the fixing hole easily. Done. When the Y-axis end stop is assembled on the motor base, please make sure that the direction of the end stop probe is upward. Embed the cable of the end stop into the cable slot. And you can use a screwdriver to press the inner cable into the slot. Then assemble the synchronous wheel to the motor shaft. Note that the end with the screw on the wheel should be on the outside of the motor. And one of the screw holes should be on the plane of the motor shaft. Slightly fix the wheel so that it will not slide freely. 
Adjust the distance from the wheel to the motor to 2.5 mm. And then lock the screw of the wheel. Assemble the Y-axis motor base to the profile. Note that the belt should pass through the hole of the motor base to avoid clamping the belt after the motor base and profile are assembled. Pull the belt into the motor base for a certain distance so that it forms a ring in the motor base. To facilitate the next installation of motor, when assembling the Y-axis motor, the motor interface faces down. Make sure the belt is properly placed on the synchronous wheel. Finally, assemble the Y-axis bearing pulley base and the side base to the profile. Pull the belt at the front of the slider. Pull the slider to the front of the profile. And tighten the belt. Lock the belt fixing piece. And then cut off the excess belt. It is recommended to reserve a belt length of 5 to 8 teeth. Done. Embedding the stainless steel plate into the print. Pay attention to the direction of the motor interface when the Z-axis motor is assembled. The motor interface should be on the same side as the port fixed cable on the motor base. When installing the coupling, pay attention to distinguish the hole diameters at both ends and make sure that one of the screws is against the flat surface on the motor output shaft. When assembling the Z-axis optical end stop, make sure that the end stop interface is on the left. Clamp the entire motor module onto the Z-axis profile and fix it with screws. Please tighten the screws here to prevent the Z-axis motor from shaking. Done. Finally, we need to adjust the engagement of the Y-axis slider on the profile. At this point, you can see that the slider has obvious shaking on the Y-axis profile. There is a red marking line on the eccentric nut of the slider. Use an 8mm wrench to rotate the eccentric nut. Turn the red marking line to the profile. And reduce the distance between the pulleys on both sides. So that the pulley clamps the profile. When adjusting the engagement of the pulley, please rotate the eccentric nut several times at a small angle. After each adjustment, Shake the slider to check whether there is still a gap between the slider and the profile until the slider can move smoothly on the profile, but there is no gap when shaking. After adjusting the engagement between the pulley and the profile, tighten the screw of the adjustable pulley. Be careful not to turn the eccentric nut again during the locking process.
Next, adjust the tightness of the Y-axis belt. Screw on the belt adjustment knob first. Then move the slider back and forth for a short distance to observe the running status of the belt. At this time, you can see that the belt jumps up and down, indicating that the belt is too loose. Turn the knob clockwise to tighten the belt until the belt is just not jumps up and down when you move the slider back and forth for a short distance. Perfect.